Hello my beautiful friends, it is Mimi here today and today I'm here to share with you my October favorites. Yay you guys, I'm back with another favorites video. Are you excited? Let me know if you are. Make sure to like this video and leave me a comment down below because I'm really really excited that I'm becoming more regular with making videos A but also with making favorites videos. I have my tea here and all the products that I'm going to be mentioning today. And you guys know that I only feature the things that really really are my favorite and that I'm really excited about. So are you guys ready? Let's get started! Okay, so I almost <laughs> broke this. <laughs> All right, so the first favorite of the month is something, it's fine, it didn't break. <laughs> I was about to feature this and like I dropped it and it would have been so funny and ironic if I actually broke this, but I didn't, so still have my favorites intact. The first favorite I'm gonna feature today is this cup and it's an interesting story because I normally don't really do takeaway coffee or tea or anything but once in a while I like to get a drink outside because I'm all day most of the day at home and I'm constantly serving myself I'm making everything for myself sometimes I just want to be served as well so it's very nice to just go to a coffee shop when Alexa and I are going to the park or playground and get a drink for myself but even though I do it very rarely I realize that when I do it I am I'm also wasting a lot of products such as you know disposable cups you know you literally get your drink you drink it and two minutes later you throw it in the garbage and like where does that really go that plastic cup or paper cup or whatever it is that they put the drink in one time I went to this place that I normally go to to get my matcha latte and I actually asked them that they put it in a regular cup I keep dropping it sorry guys <laughs> so I told um, the person working at the coffee shop to put my drink in a regular cup and not a disposable cup because I I wanted to sit outside and drink it there. First he was very confused and then I explained that I don't want to waste the disposable cup. I just want to drink my matcha latte and then I want to go but I want to drink it outside. And then he talked to his manager and he said he apologized but he said he couldn't put it in a regular cup because I'm drinking it outside which didn't make any sense at all but I got really upset because I really loved getting my matcha latte at this place and I didn't want to use disposable cups anymore so I really knew that I needed to find a solution and making this long story short now I asked you guys on Instagram to recommend your favorite um, non-disposable cups so something that you can use many many times and hopefully have for as long as possible so you can minimize the waste that you create in your world and in our world and a lot of you guys I mean there were so many different recommendations but I really wanted to steer away from plastic in general I just like to avoid using all sorts of plastic not just single-use plastic and I wanted something that is has been proven by the time and glass is something that we all know is safe to use for drinking hot beverages when it comes to hot beverages I'm very careful to use any kind of plastic, even if it says it's BPA free, any kind of free, I'm just still very iffy because when heat comes in contact with plastic, there's a chemical reaction. I'm not gonna go into that, but do your own research. So I was so grateful that a lot of you guys recommended Keep Cup. They do have actually plastic BPA free cups, but I wanted to go for a glass one. And it actually has a really lovely holder here that is made out of corks, which is super sustainable. So glass and cork, and then it has like a silicone top that goes on top this is a really great cup that you can use every day to get your coffee tea any kind of or cold beverages as well I've been really really loving this cup so if you're looking for an alternative to a disposable cup and want to create less waste with your purchases then this would be a great great choice to have on the note of coffee tea and all that wonderful stuff I want to share another favorite I have it here and what do I have in this jar? It looks kind of funny. I have wild oregano, organic oregano. Actually, this one is not wild, but you can get wild. I just found organic one in a local shop. And basically these are just dried oregano leaves. The reason I love oregano, and this is something that my mom has been giving me and Layla since we were kids. It's like a natural remedy to cold or viruses or flu whenever you're under the weather. It has natural antibacterial properties Properties, so it's really really great like right now I have a bit of a stuffed nose I don't know if you can, guys can tell so I've been drinking the tea so I use this um, dried leaves about a teaspoon and I put it in a, in a little teapot and then put over some hot water and let it steep for a few minutes then you can just drink it straight up or add a little bit of honey or maple syrup and it's just absolutely delicious I really actually love the flavor 
others, some people find it a bit more intense. But like I said, wild oregano or just oregano in general is so good for you to help you fight infection or cold or anything like that. And since the cold season is beginning, just make sure to have some at home in case you have a cough or, you know, it's just really great to like clear up that mucus that sometimes is like in the chest when our noses are stuffed or when we're coughing. So really, really great. And if you want to have something a bit more potent, you can also get the wild oregano pills and they're actually almost as potent as antibiotics. So they have the same properties as antibiotics and work amazingly when you're fighting a virus or a cold. So make sure to have some. Next favorite of the month, I've been really, really looking forward to share with you guys because it's my favorite book of the month and it's truly life-changing because it can change your mindset and the way you think about yourself. I'm talking about the book called The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. So the funny story about this book is that first Alex recommended some talks by Bruce Lipton. There's a lot of videos where he talks about his book or just these concepts that he talks about in the book. Subconscious mind, conscious mind, and all that stuff. And then my my dad sent me the video, I think the same video, and then I went out for dinner with Annie Jeffrey, my friend Annie. She's here on YouTube as well, check her out if you haven't. Hi Annie, if you're watching. And Annie asked me, how has my life changed since I've had Alexa? And I said that it's changed a lot because I basically spent all my time with her and I believe that it is so important to spend so much time with your child because zero to zero to six, but especially zero to three also is like the most important time in their life where their brain is just like a sponge absorbing all this information and it's learning everything about the world and who could teach them better than the parent. I was talking about why I believe it's so important and why I spend all my time with her and then she said, oh my God, you should listen or you should like read this book. It's called The Biology of Belief and just watch the talks. I said, I already watched some talks. I really want to read the book now because usually when so much information comes into my world and it's about the same topic, I just know it's like the universe is trying to send me some messages to read something or expose myself to some new information. I don't know why I waited so long. I probably had this conversation for over a month now and I recently finally listened to the book, guys, and it starts out a bit more, I would say, scientific and it can be a little hard to listen the first hour or so, but please keep listening because I would say the second part of the book is just like absolutely mind blowing. And I encourage every single person to listen to it or read it, it's up to you. By the way, I'm gonna leave a link down below to everything I'm gonna mention in this video. So make sure to check the info box after. In a nutshell, because the book is actually quite short, it's only three hours. And I remember I finished it in like three days. So on day three, I thought to myself, Oh my God, I should have just listened to this book on the first day, like not go to sleep, just like listen straight three hours. So before people in general would believe that we are our genes. And if you get a certain type of genes, you're just predestined to have a certain type of life. Now science has proven that that's not really how it is. There's genes, there's subconscious mind, and then there's conscious mind. And he really talks about that. He goes in a lot of depth to explain and logically how all of this works. And I really appreciated that because I like to know theories, but I also would like to know the logic behind the theories. I'll just give you a little snippet of it because I'm not gonna go into much depth into it. It just makes you understand that you are made out of the instincts, like I said, which is basically your genes, the subconscious mind, which is the most interesting part because I don't believe a lot of us consciously realize that, and he, as he explains in the book now, it's scientifically proven now that 95 to 99% of our life or day to day will only use our subconscious mind. And he explains that subconscious mind is actually not you. It's it's like a tape recorder. It's everything you've recorded from zero to six in your life. So things that your parents told you, your teachers told you, anybody, your caregiver, whoever raised you and spent the most time with you, all the beliefs, all the judgments, all the things they told you about the world or anything you have been exposed zero to six has become your subconscious mind. And now it rules your life. So you're not in charge really. You can be in charge if you want by growing your, your conscious mind. And he talks a little bit at the end of the book about how you can grow your conscious mind, which is our creative of mind, which is actually who we truly are. But in reality, most people just live day to day in their subconscious mind. We think that we are making decisions, but in fact, it's not us making the decisions. It's the subconscious mind, all the beliefs, all the things that have been engraved in that very fragile time of a child, zero to six life. That's all I'm going to say just to intrigue you and strongly encourage you guys to definitely 
read this book or listen to it as I have. Like I said, all the links will be down below. So I would love to hear your feedback once you listen or read the book. All right, so I have a few fashion items to share with you guys because I did a bit of shopping this month. And the first one that I'm gonna share with you is this lovely animal print sweater, or I think this is a leopard print. So a lovely leopard print sweater by Mango. And in general, I love animal prints when done right. It's a really lovely and cozy sweater, especially now the weather's been getting really, really cold. And I just love the combination of colors, of the taupe with the black and the yellow. It goes pretty much with everything. I can dress it up like I tuck it into a skirt, something that's a bit more high-waisted or just over jeans. It is so, so nice. I've worn it like so many times already, so I definitely would recommend it. It's very, very comfortable and cozy and just perfect for the colder months. You guys always ask me where I shop and where I get my clothes. I don't really shop at one store in particular. I shop at many different stores, but I always try to share with you guys if I find a new store that I really enjoy. There's a store that opened here in London, but they also have an online shop and you might have seen them on Instagram as well. Um, the brand is called Cezanne and it's a French brand and I absolutely love their style. I'm wearing this blouse that is from Cezanne. So again, it's like very French inspired. Absolutely love the neckline of the shirt and it's just a really soft cotton fabric you can wear it so many different ways again you can tuck it into a skirt that's a bit high-waisted or you can wear it with jeans under blazer there's just a hundred different ways to wear it and then I have another blouse here also from Cezanne which is navy and has like lovely polka dots it's a lovely silk fabric so again their fabrics are really nice and good quality the pricing I believe is quite reasonable for what you get so I really really have been loving the store there's there's just so many things I wanna get there. So really excited to share it with you. All right, so I have a few more favorites to share with you guys. And the next favorite is YouTube Prime, which is a service where you pay, I believe about $15 and you don't have any ads on your YouTube. And for a long time, I didn't believe in using it. I'm, not, I'm sure there's a lot of other features actually that you, you get for, with YouTube Prime, but I predominantly wanted to do it because I was just sick and tired of the ads. Quite honestly, I haven't had much time to watch YouTube, but I always listen to stuff on YouTube, especially when I'm with Alexa. I let her listen to um, music on YouTube or sometimes she asked me to listen to Peppa Pig. She loves listening to Peppa Pig. So audiobooks is what I mainly use for Alexa on YouTube and it's usually playing on my phone. So before when I would play audiobooks for her or Peppa or whatever, some songs, every time there would be an ad, I would like literally have to jump and like go and like skip, skip the ad, skip the ad. You know, we've all done that. And it literally would give me anxiety because it happens every video you watch or sometimes if it's a long video, it happens right in the middle and it just like would give me so much anxiety, I realized. And then I remember telling Alex about it and he's like, why don't we just switch to Prime? And I said, you're right, it just costs, I mean, it, it costs $15 a month, which is a lot, but also, ooh, it got so dark, guys. I'm still here, it's just the light changed completely. Anyway, so it costs $15, but the good thing is that they have a family plan. So I believe on a family plan, you can have up to five people using the service. So then obviously it's just a few dollars a person. And I think it's so worth it. Truly has been life-changing because I don't hear the ads anymore at all. It's such a seamless, nice experience to just be able to consume whatever you want to consume, whether you're watching or just listening. And also another thing I really love, now when I exit YouTube to go to a different app before it would just stop playing the video and now it doesn't stop. I can literally go anywhere on my phone and it will continue playing that video or the song or whatever it is that I'm watching or listening to. So I definitely recommend YouTube Prime if you haven't yet switched over, check it out. I think they have a free trial as well. This is not sponsored at all. I'm paying for the service. And the last two favorites of the month that I wanna share with you are actually beauty favorites. First is a mascara that I discovered this month actually, and I discovered it through Nikki, which is a makeup artist, I'll um, link it down below. Anyway, she's a great makeup artist that I follow and I like learning new techniques and products that she uses. And this one is by the brand Clarence, and it's called Mascara Supra Volume. I was just really upset with my lashes recently, and that's why I wanted to try something new 
Generally speaking, my lashes are pretty straight. They're not that thick. They're quite long, I would have to say that, which I'm very grateful for. But they're just like straight, so you can't really see them if I don't do anything to them. So normally, I curl my lashes before I apply a mascara. It got really dark again. Today, it's just been like cloudy and sunny and cloudy and sunny. But anyways, um, going back to the mascara. So I went to the store to get this one. And when I first looked at the brush, it just doesn't look like anything special. It's just looks like a regular mascara brush. Cause you know, sometimes you look at the brushes and you're like, ooh, this is interesting. I wonder if this is gonna do anything different. But this one doesn't look like anything special, but I still wanted to give it a shot. And I came home, tried it on, and I was like, oh my God, my lashes look so much thicker. They look longer. They just look like they're there because I feel like recently they just looked more sparse and like didn't stay curled up. They would just drop pretty much after I would apply it. So I've just been loving this mascara so much. I'm so happy I discovered it. I just feel like I have lashes again and so many of you guys have asked me what mascara I use and I would never ever get asked that question before. So I know it's definitely working because like literally every time I do like a makeup look just to show you what makeup I'm wearing that particular day, you guys are like, what mascara is this? What mascara is this? So that's why I decided to mention it. It's, and like I said, I will link everything down below. Anyways, now moving on to the lipstick. And again, a lot of you guys have been asking me what lipsticks I wear this past month because I've been wearing lots of lipsticks. I generally don't wear lots of lipsticks, but I think it's because it's fall now and I'm sort of like losing my tan. And whenever I lose my tan, I find I wear more lipsticks. So in the summer, I don't wear it as often, I think. So I've been wearing more lipsticks and this is always the color that I go to. This one is by Bare Minerals and this one is called XOX or socks. I don't really know. Anyways, I'm gonna link everything down below. So I really love this color because it is sort of a nudish pink. It's a muted pink. It's really, really beautiful color that sort of looks like your own lips, but a bit more saturated. I love wearing this day to day. And the most important thing I love about this lipstick is that it's very moisturizing. I don't know how people wear dry lipsticks. It's almost like you have to apply something over it. And it's just so inconvenient. But with this lipstick, I just love that. I don't have to apply anything on top. It's already moisturizing. And also the color stays on for a long time. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are your favorites of the month because I absolutely love learning from you guys as well. If you enjoy watching favorites videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and always leave me comments down below. I love reading them. Thank you guys again. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!